I'm going to be honest. I didn't even know that I was going to be doing this really quickly because I was going to write it down at first and I just became so upset and I started thinking about even the larger of issues here. And this is for all of my foster kids, kids that are still in foster care, kids that have um, aged out of foster care, kids that are within my generation. All y'all motherfuckers know who exactly you are. Okay, bitch. Um, and this is something that needs to be discussed. And I hope people share this shit because something needs to change. The system has failed all of us. They have failed us miserably in this motherfucker and you know i went on to think about it you know I've, I've lost a lot of you know people in my life especially over the past couple of years and it hurts my heart to hear stories about my brothers my friends that have that i've known half of my entire life are no longer here anymore and it really made me think about it today because I really got angry today and I really was really upset and I needed a positive way to channel my motherfucking attitude because I'm, I'm about ready to slap fire out of a bitch right now. You feel what I'm saying? Because that's how angry I am. And then I got even more angry when I thought about the larger issue. The larger issue is that the DCF system has failed all of us. And they're continuing to decline in their services for these kids. They have a continuous bad record of keeping records, first of all. Because I remember when I was in care, y'all lost all of that bullshit when you went into privatization, honey. Okay? You lost all of those files and y'all lost all of those motherfucking kids. And you started firing all the caseworkers that were willing to tell on y'all asses. Don't think that some of these kids like myself were not in the know bitch because we know you lost everything and that's why y'all around here paying bitches eleven fifty an hour and with 30 bitches on their cases and nothing is getting done and some of these kids still ain't been found to this day but that's a larger issue that i wasn't trying to go into i wanted to go into a different one and my motherfucking issue is with the fact that once you motherfuckers no matter how we got into the foster care system, I don't care what the circumstances were. Nine times out of ten, it's because of neglect and abuse in the home. Let's be honest here. Some people have other um, extenuating circumstances on why they were um, placed into the DCF system. But at the end of the day, when you guys took that legal ward of the state status, that means you took it upon yourself to become responsible for us, Okay. That means just like how an average household would do, raise the child right, do what they got to do to get them into school and everything else and be there for that child. You motherfuckers just placed our asses any and everywhere and you did not give a fuck because, again, you have a low budget to work with and half of all y'all are some greedy, selfish, fraud ass motherfuckers who just use and abuse these kids in situations. My friends are gone. They are dead. They are not coming back. And you want to know why that path was led for them on that way? Because they were not properly equipped with the necessary social skills to properly learn how to walk in this life. And I don't want to hear that fucking bullshit either about Kids will be kids and they're not all going to listen. You can't, you can't win them all. Let me tell you something, honey. You y'all didn't win shit. You want to know why, bitch? Because y'all motherfuckers don't give a fuck about what happens to us. I'm 30 now, bitch. Guess what? When I was in foster care statistics, 40, what was it? 48% of youth discharged out of foster care uh, after close to 18 months will be dead or in jail. That statistic is probably even higher now due to the lack of group homes, due to the lack of uh, qualified foster parents who ain't around here beating and abusing the kids or leaving them for dead. And y'all motherfuckers do investigations and shit and they get fucked up. The system is broken. And I have lost too many motherfucking people in my life because of a broken system. You took us in. You capitalized off of our pain and our suffrage. 
And once we became adults, you casted us out like we were fucking nothing, knowing we were not well equipped to deal with what this motherfucking side of the world was. And the crazy shit is, all you raggedy bitches knew it. You knew it, but you were just riding the wave until we aged out and we were out of your motherfucking hair. Hey, granted, there were some people that gave a fuck, but let me tell you something. <laughs> there's there's power in numbers. There weren't enough good motherfuckers to really make the impact that should have been made on a lot of these motherfucking kids, including myself. I'm 30 and I'm still suffering in life. What do you expect when you have children who have experienced emotional trauma never had the opportunity to actually deal with said trauma now they swiftly become an adult now they have to deal with an adult shit that they are never prepared for now they got they're forced to pause their trauma that they never had a chance to actually work through they're care we're carrying all this through our adulthood people and it does affect our relationships it reflects how, it how we treat each other in this world when you are not prepared to deal with the ills the woes the highs and lows of this raggedy ass fucking world that we're living in anything can happen to somebody out here in these streets i'm just telling you the motherfucking truth so I, I suggest that y'all go to the votes. I suggest y'all do what the fuck y'all motherfuckers got to do to make some change in this bitch because I'm tired of my phone ringing telling me that another one has crossed over. I don't have time for that shit because that shit weighs on people after a while. It's the death, destruction, chaos, all of this raggedy ass shit that only the human spirit can only deal with so motherfucking much at one time, bitch. And if you're not prepared for these things that are going to come your way, how are you to how are you to know how to respond? Who can tell you how to respond to certain situations that come up in your life? Who has the power to tell you how you should respond to your pain? And at the end of the day, if the system would have took a better handle and more of a responsible role and actually given a fuck about the children, they would have at least tried to educate us. They would have at least tried their fucking best to make sure that we had a life at least not as horrible as the ones we've all been experiencing the last, what, 10, 15 years of our motherfucking sad, miserable fucking lives. And yes, we are all sad I'll admit it, we are some sad, angry motherfuckers because no one gave a fuck about us. No one tried to motherfucking take us as children. Oh, we'll put them, throw them all over there real quick. They'll be, they'll be grown real soon. We don't give a fuck. Now look at all of us. Either we're in jail, we're dead, or cracked out under somebody's fucking bridge. Yeah, at the end of the day, life choices are our life choices. But bitch, guess what? Our decisions are based on what we know, what we've experienced in the past. So a child raised in a proper home, guess what? They have uh, normal responses to life shit because they saw their parents go through it. Guess what foster kids get? Nothing. We don't get those experiences. So our reactions are going to be a little bit more abnormal than the normal, the considered normal motherfuckers. We are dying. We are drug addicts. We are homeless. We are in prison. Not because we want to. Not because we motherfucking want to. Trust and believe that. You think we want suffrage? Do you think we want this type of fucking pain? Our hearts bleed daily, bitch. From a childhood, we'll never get back. And I know a lot of you motherfuckers say, well, just get over it. You know what? Well, fuck you. You ain't walking a damn mile in none of our motherfucking shoes. This shit, fuck you. That's a lot of shit, bitch, okay? A lot of shit. And no one's talking about it. By the fucking dozens, we are dying out here, bitch. All because a ill ass motherfucking system that that no one even wants to try. The even now, y'all y'all 
doing investigations on children, guess what? You say, oh, the household's good. And then a week later, that child's found uh, fucking dead inside of a cupboard hole in the goddamn house. And nothing's being done to y'all. No other company, a private company has said, or the government has stood in and said, you know, y'all got too many deaths on y'all watch. We need to go ahead and take over and assume control and find out what the real motherfucking problem is. It's, it starts with the kids. If you're not trying to really have a heart and be there, then y'all need to develop a system that can actually do something for us and for the ones that are coming up now. It may be a little too late for us now because we're much older and set in our ways, but bitch, y'all need to design a system that really caters to true authenticity of helping these motherfucking children become adults. And I know what it is, too. The vast majority of the numbers is what? Minority children. And y'all crackers don't want to deal with all that. So you need to move y'all bitch ass on over and put some people in the situation that actually give a fuck. Do you, th does this country want that on its conscience? Our children are fucking dying over problems that can most likely be easily solved. If only they had a friend, if only they had a motherfucking parent figure, if the mom can't be there, where's something else, the big brother, big sister, someone trying to mold, help mold these children to be positive, productive members of future societies. That way they can carry that learned behavior and teach it to their children's children's children. What the fuck do you expect when we're from the projects? We're from the hood. Most of us have been abused as a motherfucker as children. Hence why we went into the system. Now we're looking to you strange motherfuckers for guidance and nothing is to be found. And you want to know why we acted out? You want to know why we didn't listen to you raggedy motherfuckers? Because guess what? Children, a lot of children have the gift of discernment. They can sense that you don't give a fuck about us. So why would we open up to y'all crusty asses? Because most of you motherfuckers can't relate to the situations that we've experienced. You think we're going to open up to you, bitch? Hell no. We sense you don't give a Fuck. Just like we sense that now. I'm 30, bitch. I was in foster because I was four years old. Most of all of these children have, especially the ones in my generation, they were in foster care when they were younger. And they are out here dying. I don't know, but something needs to happen, and it needs to happen quickly because... I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say. I don't know how to be anymore. And the fact that it just seems like people don't give a fuck about the real issues that are really happening in our inner cities and in our motherfucking communities to our best friends, to our neighbors, to everybody, to people that we know. Wake the fuck up, bitch. And let's try our best to do something. Reach out and touch these motherfuckers. Because we are lost, honey. We are lost. And it seems like the only way to be found is in death. And I'm not with that shit. And the fact that it seems like we care more about all these things in the world that don't give a fuck about us. We need to put more caring and love into ourselves. And reaching out to these motherfuckers out here who are having a rough time out here. Because it's not easy out here in this bitch. But then again, you got to also learn how to treat motherfuckers at the same time. But at the end of the day, everyone needs someone. Because this life is hard than a motherfucker. And if you aren't prepared... Child, I just don't... I don't get it. I, I, I don't get it. I don't get it at all. And my heart hurts. And I, I haven't had a chance to breathe, really. I've had other friends die in the past two years. Haven't really had a chance. You know, you're trying to live your life and, you know, one false move, you, you back down again. So when do people get a chance to even mourn the people that they've lost? You don't just get over these types of things. I know I don't. I know I'm a sad, mad bitch because I'm carrying all this pain with me and other people's pain and suffrage, but I'm a human being and I give a fuck about these motherfuckers, no matter how y'all bitches treat me. But it is what it is. I just think that we need to start somewhere to fix a broken system. That way we can save some motherfucking lives. 
y'all have a great day, bitch, and I'll, I'll try to get through it, but, you know, rest in peace to everybody, because you know who you are, and I, I just, I, I hate to hear this.